Talk Podcast, Episode 93, for Monday, July 16th, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. Exactly why do we need next generation 911? Well, that's a question I get asked at least a couple times a week. Although I have several examples how contextual data will enhance the situational awareness around an emergency event, such as pictures of a bank robbery, temperature readings during a fire, or the transmission of relevant telematics data in a motor vehicle accident. This week I was fortunate enough to experience myself potential efficiencies Next Gen 911 can bring to the table. While traveling to New York City this week for some meetings, I arrived at the New Jersey Transit train station down in Hoboken during the lull between the morning rush and afternoon lunch. As I was walking through the station, I noticed a medium-sized piece of luggage sitting all by itself next to a few ticket vending machines. Now, as anyone who commutes in the metro New York area knows, New Jersey Transit runs a If You See Something, Say Something promotion with their 1-888-TIPS-NJT hotline that was put in place back in 2003 specifically to report suspicious activity or unattended packages. Now, in addition to phone calls, text messages can be sent to NJTPD, or SMS shortcode 65873. Now, although I'm not a daily commuter, I am a regular traveler on the New Jersey Transit System, and I was familiar with the existence of these services. What I wasn't able to remember, though, was the actual 888 number, or the NJTPD shortcode. This is when the first part of reality rushed over me. I certainly knew what to do, but didn't know where to send the message to, and immediately went to the web to look up the appropriate telephone number. But an average commuter would have probably just dialed 911. Of course, I happen to be privy to know how selective routers handle the calls in New Jersey from the NJ Transit facilities. If you happen to call from a fixed landline or payphone, you'll actually end up at the New Jersey Transit 911 center. But if you call from your cell phone, your call is probably going to be routed to the agency that covers the area that you're in. So knowing all this, I took the extra effort to look up on the web the 1-888-TIPS-NJT number so I'd reach the proper agency that I needed to deal with this suspicious package. I explained to the call taker what I was seeing, what the package looked like, and to the best of my ability, where it was in the Hoboken train terminal. Since I was running early for my meeting, I decided to hang out and watch the events unfold. Transit police dispatched an officer to my location, who arrived in about 10 minutes. Now, due to the fact that I gave a poor description of the location, I could see the officer scanning the area looking for the bag. So I immediately approached him, told him that I was the one that had called, and led him right to where the bag was located. If you want to see a picture of what I saw, you can check out the text version of my podcast and my Avaya Connected blog, available each week at www.avaya.com forward slash Fletcher. Once I showed him where the bag was, it only took the New Jersey Transit officer about five seconds to realize that what had alerted me also didn't seem right to him, and he immediately radioed for a canine unit to investigate further. That's when the second point hit me. Had I been able to send a picture of what I was looking at directly to New Jersey Transit Police, and that image was able to be analyzed by a person, the canine unit most likely would have been dispatched simultaneously with the foot patrol officer. Now, in addition to saving valuable time, it probably would have changed the entire response protocol. When the canine finally responded about 15 minutes later, they very quickly went to work. I gotta tell you, it's incredible watching these dogs work, and it's obvious that they really enjoy it. Fortunately, this particular suitcase was one that was probably left by a homeless person and contained nothing that was deemed of any danger. But wait a second, text messages could have been sent to NJTPD, or SMS shortcode, 65873 as part of the NJ Transit program. Well, that's all well and good if you happen to remember NJTPD, or SMS shortcode, 65873. And this is why I cringe when I hear about initiatives like this, even though they're as good as they are. For example, LAPD uses the shortcode CRIME, 27463. Passaic County, New Jersey, where I live, uses CRIMES, with an S, 274637. So, just how is anybody, especially someone in a distraught state, supposed to remember all of these codes when they need them the most? 
This is why we absolutely have to unify texting and SMS to 911. Make sure it's multimedia based and able to send pictures and video as well as text to the 911 call centers. Once we get that far, we can start using the intelligent workforce optimization algorithms built into the contact center experience portals to make intelligent recommendations to the call takers based on physical data surrounding the call. We're constantly hearing about or reading about the financial budget crunch that public safety constantly deals with every single day. Well, what about the cost savings in my example alone? Dispatching the right resources at the right time not only improves the response metrics, but makes a more efficient response. If you were to shave at least 10% off of a $20 million operating budget, that ends up being $200,000 put back into someone's budget that can be put to good use. You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency?